Planting Hope in Afghanistan, Combating Malnutrition. In 2001, when the United States ousted the Taliban regime, Afghanistan was one of the world's poorest nations. Rampant protein deficiency malnutrition resulted in high mortality rates among rural women and children. Despite two decades of reconstruction efforts costing over $120 billion, the situation remains dire. In 2003, Dr. Stephen Kwan, a leading nutrition scientist and technical services director at Nestle Nutrition, founded Nutrition and Education International, NEI. Learning about the extreme malnutrition situation in Afghanistan, he felt compelled to help vulnerable Afghans and personally visited impoverished farming villages. Dr. Kwan devised a practical, self-sustainable solution to eradicate malnutrition in rural farming households through production of protein-rich soybeans for home consumption. Several friends shared his vision, including Mike DiPietro, a CPA in Pasadena, and Dr. Leroy Hansen, a soybean science and technology expert in Des Moines, Iowa. The three joined forces to establish NEI as a California nonprofit with the goal of eradicating malnutrition in Afghanistan by 2030. This would be accomplished by the annual production and consumption of 300,000 metric tons of soybeans. During the past two decades, NEI has successfully established a national infrastructure in Afghanistan for a self-sustainable soy industry to combat malnutrition. How? First, NEI formed collaborative partnerships with key Afghan government ministries, including agriculture, public health, women's affairs, and rural rehabilitation to collectively address the severe national malnutrition problem using protein-rich soybeans. Second, NEI sourced generous funding from international communities, including the governments of Japan, South Korea, Canada, the United States, and the United Nations World Food Program. Under this partnership, NEI has trained and worked with over 130,000 farmers to cultivate soybeans across all 34 Afghan provinces. Afghan soybean farming families now enjoy nutritious soy-based foods, such as soy naan bread made from soy and wheat flour that provides twice the absorbable protein of traditional wheat naan. We are humbled to hear NEI soy farmers tell us that their weak, stunted children have become healthy and strong from consuming soy-based foods. In addition to the nationwide campaign promoting soybean cultivation for home consumption, NEI has developed a self-sustainable seed research and production sector and constructed 10 soy processing factories to produce value-added soy products. These achievements, under the leadership of Dr. Kwan, NEI's president and CEO, have not gone unnoticed. Dr. Kwan's dedicated work over two decades to eradicate malnutrition in Afghanistan has earned him medals of honor from the governments of Afghanistan and the Republic of South Korea. Unfortunately, NEI's goal to end malnutrition among rural Afghan women and children by 2030 was disrupted two years ago when the Taliban overtook the government. Due to the economic sanctions imposed by the United States and its Western allies, NEI can no longer rely upon international organizations to fund its life-saving programs. Nonetheless, we remain steadfast in our commitment to serve vulnerable Afghans, especially in these trying times. Vulnerable children in rural villages urgently need your support. For just $50, you can help one farmer cultivate soybeans, ensuring self-sustainable nutrition for his family. Your generosity will make a significant impact and will be greatly appreciated. I'm Haji Abdul Rahman from Balkh province. I'm a farmer with eight family members. Four years ago, NEI trained me to cultivate soybeans. My family is healthier and I can sell soybeans for income. In addition to supporting rural farmers, NEI has been helping 1,000 malnourished and starving families in Kabul refugee camps to survive harsh winters by providing them with food and firewood. 
For just $25 per month, you can help a family of seven survive the harsh winter. I am a widow with four orphan children. I earn little, but NEI's help during the cold winters is a lifeline for us. We are grateful for your support and ask for your continued help in ensuring a better future for Afghanistan's vulnerable women and children. Together, we can make a difference. Thank you.